What I'm doing now is making a new solar panel frame. This is simply a sheet of Luan, a two foot by four foot sheet, and two pieces of pine furring. These were eight foot long, but because I couldn't fit them in the car, I cut them over at Home Depot. And so these pieces right now are two four foot pieces, which one piece matches perfectly here. I already have one in place and I'm going to have to cut one in half for the sides and then I'll put another in the middle for support like I did in the last solar panel. Now just to give an overview, I've turned this over and what I have here is this long piece going here is already attached. That's a piece of the frame. The next piece is going to go down here and then I'll fill the frame in the rest of the way and then this will be ready for painting. Simply line this up. It's very easy to make the frames for your solar panel. It should only take a few minutes. You want to get that lined up centered nicely. All your tools in place. Now I take a, uh, a drill and put a small hole in it so the screw goes in better. I do the first one right away. Real gentle, you don't want to go too deep. And then I follow up and make all the pilot holes. Make sure you're still lined up. There's no pattern here. Just put a bunch of holes and I'll put a bunch of screws so this will hold up nice. You can follow through with all the screws. Now these solar panels are being made off the grid. This is solar panels for an off-grid living environment being made off the grid. Everything's battery operated. So now I switch to my saw. And we have to measure between these two pieces of wood from here to here to cut this frame piece. When I make this more precise, I mark on both sides of the tape measure. I don't know if you can really see that. And then I take another piece of wood, the straight edge, mark that off. I want that side. And we cut it. Foot on the table. Get a piece of frame. Now I've got the frame pieces cut. I'm going to flip this over and mount them in place. Again, just line it up, make sure it's centered. If there's a little gap later, we can fill it with silicone up in here. That's not too major a problem. Swap my batteries. Put one hole in the middle.
pilot rule is just so these screws go in easy. And you don't go deep, just a starter hole. Now this next part is a bit tricky. I'm going to put a small piece in the middle just for support because the plexiglass I bought is really cheap, thin. And we don't want, if anything presses on the top of the panel later, we don't want it to press down and break the solar panels, the solar cells. So this little board is going to be on the other side. I just want to show you, give an idea. So I'm going to measure this at two foot in the middle and mark it off. So I'm going to drill my holes through here so I know where to put it when I get to the other side. I'm going to flip this over and measure on the seam on the inside so I can put that in. Now there's the finished solar panel frame. And the reason I left a gap here is because I'm going to have a set of 18 solar cells here and a set of 18 solar cells here. And I'll run the connecting tabbing wire across through here. So that's it. Now this is ready to be painted.